Cole, we're here in Kidinya Park at the home of the Cats and we're in the old past players stand. Well we played our first match here back in 1941. So uh, do you recall where we were before that? Well, we're at Cryo Oval which is out in Eastern Gardens. We shifted there because of the war, didn't we Cole? Shifted here because of the war. Shifted here, yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of other stuff going on in the 20s though at this ground. Well, they used to have carnivals here, athletic carnivals, and they used to have cycle races, and they also had motorbike races all on the same event. And that goes in back to the 1950s even, they were still having those events and carnivals. And they, the funds raised were donated to Geelong Hospital in most cases. Do you know what I remember about the Geelong Hospital? And all the games that were played here, at half time, the St Augustine's band used to go out onto the ground and play their thing. But the nurses from the Geelong Hospital, who were all dressed up in their uniforms and capes and all the rest of it, do you remember when they used to walk around the ground with a bed sheet? I do. And people used to throw two shilling pieces into the to raise money for the hospital. But it wasn't just bed sheets, was it? No. Bedpans were used to head the coins. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> When we came, uh, it was 1941, but the stand that was here was built in 1920, wasn't it? That's correct. A fellow called James Dew, who had played for Geelong in the 1880 Premiership team, and he desi or designed and built this original grandstand. Um, this stand didn't have a name, did it? It's, uh, it's in its third entity. Uh, so we had the original stand built in 1920, renovated extensively in um, the 1970s and uh, replaced completely just a handful of years ago. Uh, and it of course honours uh, a famous person in football, Charles Brownlow. Wayne, we're in a pretty special place here. At the Cadinia Park Stadium here in this beautiful Anzac Memorial Garden. You're a past player and a and a past service and what serviceman, what, what does this this garden, this memorial garden mean mean to you? Well it's a great part of the stadium. It's, it's uh, great to see the tribute to the players who uh, did serve in the various wars. And it's a great spot to just come and reflect and uh, and to think about the things that they achieved. And Wayne, you, you, I think you're the only Geelong player that w went off to Vietnam. It must have been tough as a professional footballer to go there. And and did you play? Did you play football when you're over in Vietnam? Yeah, we had a short season of uh, six weeks uh, between the wet season and the dry season. About September, October, uh, we played on uh, soccer ovals. 14 men per side, no half forward, no half back flankers. And Wayne, it's appropriate that you played in the first ever Anzac Day match here at the ground in 1964. Ah, okay. Uh, against Collingwood, and appropriately that day we gave the Magpies a hiding. I on Anzac that, Day? On Anzac Day, before the game. That's yeah. pretty special, in 1964. Uh, the biggest crowd at this stadium was 49,107 and it was a very special day here because it was the day that um, Marjorie Jackson came to visit Geelong, a famous Olympian and yes. they, they sent her around the ground and I think we played Carlton that day, Cole? We did. And this, this stadium was surrounded by pine trees in those days. And they say that there were more kids in the pine trees than there were in the ground. So there was 49,107 people yeah, plus the kids in the pine trees. It was a huge turnout. And, and that day, the president, Jack Jennings, presented Marjorie Jackson with, uh, with a little uh, a Geelong uh, supporters dolly badge. Okay. And um, there's a letter written by Marjorie Jackson around about 2000 and she writes back to the club and says 
how much she enjoyed that day here.